beautiful little airplane. Oh, what is this called? It's a uh, it's a Sky Raider two. Hey, now, uh, how long has it uh, actually been in production? I, I don't remember seeing a, a two place Sky Raider. Um, I bought the kit about oh three and a half years ago, and uh, it's number six in the two seat line. Now this is coming out of where? They're uh, they're built in Caldwell, Idaho. Okay, uh, what's the company? Uh, at the time, it was uh, Flying K Enterprises, and I'm not sure uh, who they are now. I haven't talked to the factory in a couple of years. Okay. Now, you brought this in, or you bought this then as a basic kit? Um, I did. In fact, I had a little bit less done to the kit than than the standard kit. Um, I uh, I scratch built the the rudder and the vertical fin, uh, and then I took it down to the factory where they welded it onto the fuselage for me. Um, I, uh, I didn't go with the powder coat, which I think at the time was pretty much standard, because uh, I knew I wanted to change a lot of things uh, to the airplane and, and didn't want to carve up the, the powder coat finish. Now, have you built airplanes before? I mean, the finishing and everything on this airplane is just fantastic. Is this something that you do for a living? Um, I. Uh, I restore World War II airplanes for a living. Um, I've got a lot of experience in the kit plane industry before that. Um, it's the first kit plane I've built for myself. I also have an Evan Magnum that, um, that I'm working on, but uh, I have quite a bit of experience prior to that, yeah. Uh, when you got this kit uh, arriving at your door, what hours were you looking at in, in actually building it? <laughs> how many did I think I would have, or how many did I have? <laughs> how many did you think you were going to have when you first got into it? I thought I'd build it in about a year, maybe uh, maybe a thousand hours. So now you're what three and a half years later? Three and a half years and twenty six hundred hours. Now, why the difference then from the what you originally thought until what you've got now? Um. I changed a lot of stuff. There's, uh, there's, I stopped counting, but there's, there's a, there's probably well over a hundred modifications to the airplane. Now, were these modifications that you felt you needed for safety, or is this something you wanted just for yourself? Just, just personal, uh, just personal customization. There's, there's a couple things that I did for, for safety. Not that the, that the kit I thought was unsafe. Um, just a couple things I thought I could do better. Now. What are you powering this with? Uh, it's uh, the 50 horse Rotax. Okay, the Rotax 503? The 503, the yeah. It looks like you've got a C or an E drive on the front of it as well. It's a C drive. It's a three, 356 to 1 ratio, or somewhere around there. What size property is it on? Uh, it's the, the power fan 3 blade that they make for the uh, Sky Raider. Yeah, I've never measured the diameter. I'm not sure what it is. Now, how many hours are actually flying on the scene now, then? Uh, 40. We just got it flying, uh, oh, about two weeks ago. And my brother and I flew the time off in shifts. <laughs> We're flying it three times a day for, about, I think, about eight days. What kind of performance are you getting out of it for stall speed, for cruise speed, for takeoff and the climb range? Um, it's a slug. It, uh, it cruises, it only cruises about 65. Um, it stalls really slow though. It's stalling at 26 indicated. Um, lands really slow. It takes off really slow. I was told I was told from the factory to expect about 80 mile an hour cruise, but this airplane's really dirty. It's got great big tires on it. And it's got a lot of drag. When you're flying uh, two people in it, does the other person have any uh, control uh, access or not? No. Um, it's uh, strictly front seat control. The um, the two place the two place germinated out of um, Kenny's desire to uh, take his son with him, and uh, it's really more like a seat and a half. Um, there's not much room back there for for a full size adult. Um, they uh, the factory advertises uh, 150 pound limit in the back seat, or at least they were at the time. But uh, CG-wise, it would take more weight than that, but I don't think he could fit the person back there. Um, 
The fabric finish on this. What kind of finish or fabric you first are you using on it? Um, I used uh, Stitz fabric in uh, Super Flight chemicals. Now, was there is that a, a very difficult process to use? Or very simple? Um, it's it's more a matter of technique than anything. I think a lot of people are afraid of um, the fabric work not having done it, but uh, it's not a difficult thing to learn and. It's once you've you've done a little bit of it, it's it's more technique than anything else. It's not difficult. Now, how do you get the shine out of it? Though? I've seen a lot of paint um, jobs. They don't come with this type of a, a gloss. It's uh, the finish is uh, PPG Concept, which is a single stage urethane paint, automotive paint. I have no idea how it'll hold up. We'll see. <laughs> now, uh, are you? Uh, Planning on selling this airplane and starting another river kit, or is this something you've designed or that you built for yourself? And I'll never sell it. Um, it's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Magnum to fly the back country and uh, back home with, but uh, the Sky Raider's gonna go on floats and probably never never come off of floats. I build a fishing pole tube in the back, and the doors will come off, and the gear will come off, and they'll just go away and. And I have a friend that's going to let me keep it in his hangar on the, on the river, and I'll spend Saturdays fishing. You figure there's going to be much difficulty converting this to floats, so what's going to be required to do it? Um, I'm going to scratch build the floats, and um, I think I could probably build them in about full time in probably about three weeks to a month, but I'll probably spend the winter building them. And, uh, and once the rigging and everything is finished, It'll convert really quick. I, I, I build it with floats in mind, and it's got hydraulic uh, brakes on it. Um, I, uh, I've got, uh, I'm gonna have hydraulic quick disconnects that I should be able to brake at the fuselage without losing the brake fluid and having to, you know, drain them and bleed them and everything again. And uh, I haven't. I haven't tried it, the conversion yet, obviously, but uh, I'm hoping with those that I can pull the gear off and switch to floats or back in like half an hour. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. You're welcome.